like to mark on the inferior pole of the patella, tibial tubercle. We mark on both sides of the patellar tendon. We mark on the medial joint line. And we mark on the uh, lateral joint line. That gives us an idea of our portal placement. In addition, we like to pay a little bit of attention to the slope of the tibia to make sure we're high enough up with these portals to get good accessibility, adjusting to the slope of the tibia and to access the posterior portion of the meniscus. That's why we advocate using a vertical uh, arthroscopic portal and not a horizontal portal because it somewhat limits your accessibility to that posterior aspect of the meniscus. So we will come about five millimeters off the edge of the tendon into our relative soft spots. I like to go through the skin, then we will feel the capsule here. We pop through the capsule, release the capsule superiorly. And then when I go down, I just push down. I don't saw down because I know I'm close to the top of the meniscus and I don't want to injure that. And I come over to the medial side similarly. We will go in through the skin, feel the capsule, pop through the capsule, release the capsule superiorly, switch our knife over and then just push down. So we introduce our, our uh, cannula. We should be coming at this angle down. We should not be going flat. If we're flat, then we have too low a portal placement. We come across the front of the notch, release off our ligamentum and any scar around that stump of the ACL. Likewise, we come across, release this. 